I've turned on the recording. This is Thursday, April 8th. It's our lecture for Design 320. And as you can see, what we're up to today is our project number three. And I'm going to do a demo of it. There's been some questions about it. And basically, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Fill out this sheet. Fill out this sheet. And fill out this sheet. There are three sheets to fill out. You have to pick an area and a vicinity. You make that up and put your site plan on it. I'll show you how to do that. I said pick an area like Carmichael, Folsom, Arden Arcade. I'll do North Highlands today. Project details are, it depends on what you do. You would put the owner and the applicant. That could be you or somebody else. How big is the lot? You have to know how big this site is. You've been working with it now for two projects or one full project. What is the current zoning? I kind of gave you that the other day. You can do RD1, RD3, something like that. What's its current use? Residential, renovated use. This is where you have to propose something. You have to, I'm not telling you what to do. This is your design class, so you figure out what you want to use this new renovated building for. It has to be commercial. And then tell me something special about it. Okay, something special. Why are you doing this? What's cool about it? And then these are going to be there. And then you have to find examples and say, here are examples of similar ones. You don't get to just make this up. You have to do a little bit of research. We've been doing that in the past. Okay. And so you'll, you'll take cuts. We did this a little bit the other day. You'll take some pictures and put them in here. And you'll specify what you like or what you're going to use out of each of those. And then this is pretty straightforward. It's a floor plan. Okay, and that's the floor plan from the thing that you've already done. This is a continuation of your last project. So you already have a building done. Now you just need the floor plan. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that. I'm going to do it all. Won't, won't take a whole, whole, whole heck of a long time. So I need an area map. So I'll take... I'll take North Highlands. I'll just say, show me North Highlands. There's North Highlands. Look at it. I'm going to take it out of that type of view and put it into that type. There, it's, that's North Highlands. So if I, take a, if I take a snip of that, I can put it AutoCAD and I can trace it. Remember that? Remember tracing things and how we did that? We're going to use that. Why won't that let me copy that? There we go. Edit. Copy. Where's my paste? Paste. There it goes. There. And so now I can just I can just trace that. And the tracing doesn't have to be great. It just has to be kind of close. And I don't even know how big it is. But it won't matter because I'm just going to put a kind of a picture in there. And see, I'm not making it perfect. Remember how we talked about that when we did tracing? I just need something that's kind of sort of like North Highlands. There we go. I've got North Highlands. And then I do want, I'm going to put those on a thick layer, but let me, let me put a couple of streets in, and I'm going to move this one over. That one should move over to, over to here, because I do need to get Watt Avenue in there. So there we go. So there, I've got an area. I'm just showing the area. But I know that through this area, I've got some pretty big things going on. I've got I-80 cranking right through it. Oop, 
No, it didn't work. I got my O snaps on. I got I-80 going right through it. And I got Watt Avenue going right through it. Those are the biggies. Okay, and I got Roseville Road. Roseville Road looks pretty big too. I think I'll put Roseville Road going through there. There we go. There, I got an area map. I do want to put some text on there and I want some things to jump out big. So I want like those things to jump out kind of thick. So I made a thick layer. There we go. And if I turn my layers on, you'll see, oh yeah, that's going to be thick. So that's, there, there, there it is. And you'll do a little more work. You'll put some names on these and you can either do it here or in the, in the thing. But this is just tracing and there's skills that you've done. You haven't done them for a while. And you can take a little bit more time to make it look a little bit better if you want. Remember how we did all that stuff with different colors and different thicknesses and things like that? So there's North Highlands. And literally, I can I, I can just take a snip of that. Now, why can't I just use the picture? Because it says copyrighted down here. That means I don't own this. I don't have the right to use that. So I have to make my own version of it. So I made my own version. Oh, that, that missed. And maybe your version will take a little bit more time and be a little bit cleaner. But I've got my... Vicinity map. And I can write down that that's North Highlands. I would write it down. So I'd fix it up a little bit. That's my area map. It's the area. And remember, it said neighborhood. This shows the nearest recognized major street. Okay, so I got to get back over here. And I have, to, I have to pick a site. I have to pick some spot. So I'm going to put it into this view now. And I'm going to just go and find some spot that seems like it might, might be good. So look, this is kind of, I'm going to show you one that actually, that kind of already exists. What if I, what if I just drop down here and let's, these look like places that are already kind of like what we're talking. Look, there's a house with a parking lot and it's a, it's a pest control place. And when I turn around, there's a chiropractor clinic. So there's two residential places that have been turned into commercial joints. And so that's what you're doing. So you just need to pick a spot. Okay, so let me get out of that. So let me just look around and I'll find a spot. That, that looks like a pretty good one. That's a pretty big place. And so maybe I'll use that lot right there. So my vicinity... My and this would be kind of, kind of, yeah, it's like this would be, this, they're already nearby doing things like changing, changing the uh, residences into commercial joints. This one might already be one. Let me take a look. No, nope, that's somebody's house. So that's a perfect, perfect idea. That's kind of like what we're doing. Okay. So that's the idea. I need to be able to do that. So this would be my vicinity. A vicinity shows 
the main cross street, where the site is, and kind of what's going on around it. So now let me make, oops, wrong one. Now let me do my vicinity map. That's way bigger, so I need to let me get the size back down to a little bit more normal size there. Okay, so now this is going to be pretty easy. I'm going to draw Watt Avenue. I'm going to draw a couple of streets. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show where the site is. And actually I did that wrong. There we go. There. Watt Avenue, this street, and you have to label these, right? D T. Well, you can label them wherever. So I'll label them in my other one. So now I'm ready for another snip. There we go. So these are all skills that you've got already because I've seen you do these before. Let's see, come over to my, uh, make that get small and come over here. It's my vicinity map. And why didn't I keep that? Let's see. Edit, copy, paste. There we go. And I would do better line work. Okay. But I can add some text into here. North. Islands. And this would be my area map. A little bit smaller so it fits. There we go. And now this one's going to be my vicinity map. There's an area, and then there's a vicinity. Okay. And you would label this Watt Avenue whatever these two were, and then you would point at this being the site. And then you would put your site plan from your previous work. Our Schuster. What's the lot? So I have to figure out how many square feet it is, but you can get that from your, from your work. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, current lot zoning, RD3, current use, residential, renovated use, commercial, and I'm going to I'm going to make it a um I'm going to make it a um um I'll make it a personal fitness center. Sounds kind of cool. And some of the special features are going to be on-site body trainers, 
conditioning and after school program. So if I put that in there, that's going to flag them that I'm going to do something. They're going to have to start looking around and make sure that I can do an after school program. If I want to open that up and there's a liquor store right next to me, I, I won't be able to do an after school program. Okay, so that these are the things that they want to see. So that's how you would do your front page. Now, I need a fitness program. Okay. Fitness studio. And I want images. What's it? Oh, that's a cool looking one. That's a cool looking one. I like this one. It's all wide open. Like I like a lot of this kind of stuff. Okay, let's see what else I've got that I'm really. I don't, I don't even know what that looks like. Um, look at this. These are all in in little enclosed closed cubicles. Social distancing. This one's got yoga and stuff. So maybe I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna take an image of this. I'm gonna copy this image and I'm going to put it up here because I'm going to say my place is going to have open room for yoga, dance, uh, ballet, things like that. Let me see what else is in here. And and I do like having um, these kinds of things. I, I like I, I like that. These things are awesome. These little kind of bouncy ball things. So I'm going to take a copy of that one. Copy the image. Let me get one more image to, to kind of get some ideas about. And, and I like the whole weight thing. Uh, but I think I'm going to stay away maybe from weights. And and as as personal fitness, I'm gonna work more towards. Well, those man, look at those guys working out. Um, I saw some people with flexi bands down here. The these things, these things are I I really groove. On. Look at that place. What is that? Oh, I like all the mirrors. I'm going to make sure that I've got a place that has these mirror walls and these, I don't know what those things are, but they look like they're for pulling and stretching and doing stuff. And so, but I really like the mirror. Oh, that even just fit in there. So now what am I going to take out of these? I'm going to make this one just a little bit smaller. Come on, line up on this edge, will you? There we go. Okay, and so what do I like about this? I like... Mirrored walls to check your form. And what I'm thinking is things like Tai Chi, Qigong, Karate, cool stuff like that, and maybe some yoga. And I like these uh, open area with light equipment at the side. And I'm going to make this have a background. And so I'm saying what's 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 of interest here? Large open area with some exercise equipment for use in easy storage. I like that. And over here, 
I like the fact there's a group workout area. So I'm going to make sure that there's a group workout area. And then I have to know that I'm going to be, I'm going to be, some things that I need to think about. I'm going to put this maybe up here a little bit. Bathrooms. Um, refreshments. And... Um, Waiting room, waiting area. And so there, so there's my, that'll let me know. Uh, okay, I'm going to be thinking about, and I like these stretchy band things. So I'm going to write that one too. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of now I'm starting to talk about about what type of workouts that are going to be done in here. So there, there there's some some examples. These are these are some features that I like, and um, and what they come from. Okay, so I'm I'm showing examples of them, and you can do a much nicer job of making these look really cool or not. Okay, now I need a floor plan. Okay, I'm going to keep a lot of things in mind at once now. So let me go to my top view. And I remember I'm going to put this thing in um, parallel projection. I remember that my building was... 36 feet by 24 feet. And then I had some little cutouts. I think over here it was 6 foot by 6 foot, maybe. And over here it was 12 foot, 8 foot by 12 foot. And then I added a piece on that was maybe a 16 foot by 15 foot. Did I get that right? Nope. There we go. Now, here's what's really cool. Remember I said you wanted to be able to find out how big this was? Well, I can do that. I can do this A1. And if I click on 972 square feet. So I'm 900, and I'll call it 975. I can go back now. 970. Oh. So 975 square feet on. Now I need my lot size. Remember drawing that lot? I think the lot, you can go back and look at yours, was 63.5. Oh, that had to say feet. And then um, 
I had that protractor thing, remember? How I did that, and I went three degrees, and then I went 115 feet. Do you guys remember any of this? It's hard sometimes to remember all this. And then 160 feet, and then 75 feet, and then it connected up. And I probably need to move this stuff more to where it's supposed to be. It was kind of sitting somewhere over here. There we go. So now I can find out how big this is. 15,700 square feet. That's a third of an acre, by the way. Here we go. Okay, so that lets me know. Okay, now. Uh huh. Is it same on the Revit? On Revit? Yeah. Yeah, Revit, you just click on the property lines and, and it'll tell you. Okay. Thank it, you. It actually comes up. If you made your property lines, click on those and the little box over here has that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, but that's good. So now, hopefully this is making some sense. I need to come back over here and I'm going to go, okay. <laughs> I got some things to think of. And I'm going to think of a bunch of things and I'll get better as I go. But I'm just going to do a floor plan. And I start with a bubble diagram. Well, first of all, if I want to, I can put some dimensions on this thing. So I kind of have an idea. So I've got that and I can put a door here and stuff, but I'm just gonna do a bubble diagram first. But I see a great opportunity here to just make a space that looks like this. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a little bit different. I've got a I've got a great opportunity to kind of have two types of areas in here because this is a pretty big area those aren't oops those are pretty good sizes and remember i wanted two doors and i'm not going to really put a wall here although i might just to help support things but I've got this concept that if I have some windows along here and I've got that original door over here and if I plug that door there and I put it here and I have another door say here then I've got a pretty nice waiting room right there. And I've got two communicating exits that are pretty nice. So I'm going to put a door right here. Okay, so I'm going to have a door here and a door here. And then I'm going to have this nice workout room. And I'm even going to move that across there. Oop.
because that can be a nice storage type thing. And then I have an opportunity to put a lot of windows on there. And maybe some windows and stuff or mirrors along these ends. And I've got this great big open area that I could maybe put not a big wall, but probably a beam with a large opening to kind of signify two different spaces. And I don't know, that looks bigger than this. I don't know why that's showing it smaller. Oh, I know why. That's more like it, right? I don't know why I can't get rid of that, but I'll get rid of that. So I've got like 384 feet here and 432 feet here. There we go. And then how big is this area? I've got 156 square feet for kind of a little lobby and a place to sit and maybe a, a, a little place to put some desk and office up. But I got this really big personal training fitness area that I can have three or four people in here, three or four carloads of people in here at any one time. And it shouldn't really cause a problem for the people around me. So that's how I start. Okay. That's how I get started. And this is going to be, and I can start documenting what this, what this is going to look like. But this is my floor plan. So now maybe I want to, over here, I'm going to put, um, um, Tai Chi, Yoga, Qigong in this room. And over here, exercise. Stretch, elastic equipment over here. So now I'm starting to kind of say what's going on. And, and this is really for right now. Oh, and then what's in here? Lobby. Refreshments. And I'm just going to say, you know, I want um, if I can draw my door. Say I'm going to put a door there, and I'm going to put another door And I'm not doing a lot of really close work right now. There, I've got my two doors. So I'm starting to get the basics of a floor plan. Very, very basic floor plan right now. Okay, anybody got an idea what, after I save, I'm going to go save as.
Project three. Studio design. There we go. Okay. So what should I do next? Anybody got a good idea? What my next step might be? Let me pipe up. What do I need to do? Well, I think I ought to go back and make sure that I'm doing what I said. Do I have a group workout area? Do I have a special scratchy band? Large, oh, mirrors. I need to, I need to make sure that I note where my mirrors are going to go. Okay, so I'm just going to put a really small. And so right there, I'm going to put mirror. And over here, I'll do something kind of... You guys, I'm just making this up as I go, right? I'm, I haven't done this particular one before. And so let me put another one over here. But I did have a great big mirror wall. Oh, thank you, Janice. I was just about to, to go back and look again. I've forgotten something, right? Yeah, I got no bathrooms. Well, I guess I have to put porta potties outside because I didn't leave myself any room. Bathrooms or changing rooms, even, right? I don't have a place for people to dress or change or anything like that. Ooh, yeah. That's kind of a problem. So, so I need to make sure that I've given myself some room for that. So let me. Okay, so now you're, so Janice, you're absolutely right. Uh, because, and that's why I wrote things down, right? I come back to here. Bathrooms and front. Right? Oh, I, I, I remembered part of it. <laughs> I remembered part of it. I forgot the bathrooms or changing rooms or whatever. So I've been in small fitness studios like this, and they use the bathrooms for the changing rooms. And I've been in nicer, bigger, larger ones that have uh, separate bathrooms from the, from the changing rooms. And, and so I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to separate these things. I think. Where can I do that? Now, here's one more thing is I'm actually going to put kind of a wall along here. And notice how I really haven't drawn anything yet. This is still what I call bubble diagrams. And this is going to be wall. Oops. So I'm going to put here a large separating wall. And that's probably a good place. Pocket door. Pocky door. A pokey door. Uh, now I have to figure out how to get that to... Well, I don't know how to actually fix that. Let 
Well, I'll either go separate that. But now, if I've got a large pocket door, that's going to let me put a changing room or a bathroom on either side here that I could work with. So I think I'm going to put, or I can put it over here. I can put it in a corner. Well, that's a really, really good question. So Casey brings up a good point of, do you need washing and stuff? It seems to me like I probably do. And especially, you know, um, if you give people an opportunity to uh, use uniforms or anything like that, now I can I can easily see if I take a few feet off of here. Let, let me take let me do this. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna get rid of this. For now, get rid of some of these little lines for now. What would happen? And this is where it's really cool to have your discussions. Whoops. With your partners. So that this stuff is all thought of ahead of time. So I'm going to put something on here. Eight foot by 16 foot. Oh, wrong way. So now that's no longer quite as see I keep using up space. That's okay. Still have 300 square feet. Now I've got some space that if I took this in half, say, that gives me an eight by eight. And if that one's in half, I've got an actual bathroom that can really meet ADA sizes. And I have two dressing rooms. That's pretty cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and bathroom. And dressing room. Thank you. So yeah, uh, bathrooms, uh, washing machines, all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. That was Janice who suggested that. So now I'm still missing a spot for my utilities, right? I'm missing that that spot for utilities. So maybe. I need to carve out some area over here, maybe move that up a little bit and put in like just a utility. You don't need a big space necessarily, but this might be a good spot for utilities. Hmm. Okay. How big is that now? It's only two feet. So I might want to get rid of that. In my bubble, although that's that could be a good place for like a, a shear wall or something like that. But maybe then what I need to do is um, 
make this like two feet is kind of small. Three feet would be okay if you have a small washer dryer. Probably four feet would be better. So I need to carve out a little spot right here or over here or something. I'll have to figure out where that needs to go. I could do the same thing over here, take four feet off of this side and and do some work over there too so I'll, I'll i'll play around but yeah probably want a washing machine in here where am i gonna put it i could just make a four by four utility room Shorten this mirror wall down a little bit. And that could become my utilities. So that's coming along. Now, if I've got my washing way over here and my bathroom way over here, what do you think it's like running the water in this place? I don't think it's very good. <laughs> so I might need to take this area and rearrange it a little bit to get my utilities over here. But do you see how you'll go through these things? Yeah, it's much harder. And so um, as we as you go along, you can redevelop it and do a little bit more. Um, you'll have a chance to fix things up a little bit as we go. But this would be the most simple form floor plan. Doesn't need to be a fancy floor plan. It can be a simple floor plan. And then I could even make certain things different colors. And maybe dressing rooms will be. And workout areas will be. And this should probably, my utility should be sort of the same color as the bathroom. Maybe not exactly. It's a little bit different. And then my waiting area can be kind of maybe a bluish. There. There. So that's sort of how you might do a space plan. So let me take a snip of that. Come on, I'll get my mouse over there sometime. I don't know why I'm not getting these. I need to take a snip. There we go. And you'll get that in there. And you'll get rid of, oh. HVAC. Oh, what did I forget? Do I have turnaround space? Yeah, this is all really an open area. 36 inch wide. Travel to the bathroom. Yeah, but you know, this is maybe in kind of a funny spot. Maybe these ought to be switched. 
so I don't have to go trundling right across there. So there's all sorts of things, access, throughways, communicating doors, HVAC. So floor plan, oh, oh, sorry about that. My floor plan shows walls, windows, and doors. This is my space plan and I don't need dimensions. Okay, and my floor plan would be without the colors and without the labels, but just showing walls, which I've shown, doors, which I've shown, and you need to show windows. Where are you going to put windows? Okay, and to signify a window, uh, and you could basically make a scene that hides these. I'll maybe make a video of that on how to make two scenes, one for your floor plan, one for your space plan. But you can literally just show a window like this. That looks better. So you can just you can just label that as a window. Very, very simple floor plan. Walls, windows, doors. So I'll make uh, one scene that looks like this. And so I'll make a scene. And this scene is called Space Plan. And recall that, and then I'll make another scene. Space plan. Floor plan. So remember, in the floor plan, I want to go there, and I'm going to hide all of these things. All right, too much. There, very simple floor plan. Which I did that in the wrong one. Floor, uh, well, I did it in the wrong one. I was in the wrong one. So let me get to the right one. I'm in my floor plan. Hide. Hide. So there's a floor plan. Okay, and I can put these areas down. And I'm going to update this. There we go. And then when I go to my space plan, It's all pretty well right, but I don't put my dimensions on. And I hide them. And so once you've got this done, your visualizations next week are going to be very fast.
But I'm going to have to work on getting that. I'll work on getting those. But now let me update this one. Well, I got that all messed up. I'm going to have to show you how to do that. I'm, I'm almost to the end where I need to get to another thing. And I'm. So my updates didn't work. I'll give you a quick video on how to save those scenes, but I'm locked up right now. There we go. So I'll, I'll fix that up for you so that you can see what those are. Uh, furniture. If you have important pieces of furniture in your space planning, yes. So I would want to put in, you know, if there's a sofa or a table or something like that, yes, you would, but, but only like this. Okay, so just kind of showing where it is. You don't need the model yet. This is just a space plan. We call it a bubble diagram and, and you work on it from there. So those are the other two things that go. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna stop the recording now.